Hello there Websters. We're going to use this short video to review linking to an external style sheet. And so you see in front of you here a beautiful looking page. We have a nice blue gradient background um, that we created in Photoshop. Then we have a big green block that you all know is a container div. Then I have a heading at the top and I have some links. And I'm on the home page right now. So if I go to page one, Oh, I now know I'm page one. Notice how the pages look similar. Page two, oh, they look similar. Page three, whoa, what the heck happened? This page looks really boring. It doesn't have any kind of nice formatting. And you and I both know that CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is for formatting web pages. HTML is for the content of web pages. Looks like we only have HTML applied to this page three. So I'm going to go back to the home page for right now. And actually, I should have just gone to my Notepad++. Let's take a look here, Notepad++, what we got. Here's my index page, the one we saw just now that's nice and uh, has a big green container. And of course, we know what's making this work is that this up here in the head section, this link tag that has a relationship as a style sheet. It has a hyper reference to an actual page that is called four page site CSS and the type of text is, is CSS. So I'm not sure really what the, this attribute type does or what this relationship one does, but I do know href links this page to a CSS page. And I can come up here and I can look and there's all my CSS. That's what's making that page look the way it is supposed to look. And that's the same if we go to page two, it also has this link tag at the top going to the same CSS site. And if I go to page uh, one, which I sort of did it out of order, uh, it also has that link ready to go. So I bet if I go to page three, there is no link to an external style sheet up here in the head section. If you look down below, I even have a container div. I even have a banner div. And I even have a content div, which is exactly what I have on the other pages. What I am missing is up here in the head section, a link to that external style sheet. So I'm just going to go back to my index page and I'm going to copy it. Now, if you need to remember how to write this, well, first of all, if you're going to have this now in your in a file that you have saved, so you'd always be able to go back to this uh, line of code and copy it. The only thing that changes when you go to different pages or different websites that you create is this right here. You, if you create a, your next website is one that you create for, um, well, let's see, for some business that sells widgets and there's called widgets are us, your CSS might be called widgets are us.css. So this will change, but the rest of the syntax and the language in this uh, line right here to link to the relative style sheet, our cascading style sheet will not change. So now I've pasted that in page three. I'm going to save it and I'm going to preview that on the browser. So let's take a look what that looks like. Oh, and now it's just not white background with black text. I can go to my home page. I can go to page one. I can go to page two. I can go to page three and they all look identical. And one last thing, the power of external style sheets is because I don't like the green background. I think it's ugly. So I can open up my CSS page, I can go to my body, my container, which now says green, and I could say, you know what, I really want that to be yellow. And I can save it. And as soon as I save it, all these pages that are linked to it when I hit refresh should get the new code. And now my home page is yellow, page one, page two, page three. That's a lot uglier than the green, but you can see how all the pages changed with one quick change to one file because they're all linking to the same external style sheet. This concludes our public service announcement for today.